Hey, Creative Katie here, Karen Burchill. Welcome to an art journal tutorial. Here is a sneak peek of this page. It was a quick page. Everything just seemed to come together. So I'm taping off my Canson Mixed Media 7x10 art journal page. And because I'm going to do some collaging as my first step, I am not putting a coat of gesso on there. So this is just a collage paper. This is deli paper that I don't know if I gel printed on this or if I just used it for cleaning up excess paint, but it's in my stash. And when I started this page, all I wanted to do was use purple. So I went to my folder in my stash filing system and found this. Now the deli paper, where there is no paint, it kind of, it, it, after you glue it down, it's clear and you can see through it. So you can to see whatever's behind it. And it kind of takes on a different look once it's glued down than when it's a raw sheet. And it's something that, you know, I have deli papers in my file, but I don't use them very often. And I think I really need to do that. So this is a good way of starting. If you don't know where to start, grab some collage papers, leftover paint, magazine papers, rip off some colors and put it down. And that will get your mind going. It breaks the blank page. And it'll get the whole process started. And that's what you need to do. You need to start. Sometimes you're going to see this in the end. Sometimes all it is is points you in the direction and gets the inspiration flowing. So I'm using a couple different stencils here. These are new from the Winter 2020 Crafters Workshop Sensels, and I will put a link to their Shopify store in the description box below. There is a discount code that you can use if you wish to purchase from them. And I'm just stenciling on, getting more pattern and interest. Like I said, I did not know where this page was going. I wanted to use purple and I wanted to use a couple of these new stencils. That was about it. Grabbed another one. I believe this one's called Fantangle and I've used it since this page because I love the, the motif that it has. It's very non-specific, which means you can use it on a multitude of pages. Everyone's going to look a little bit different. So you'll get your use out of stencils like this. This is the six inch one. Now I'm putting the black. And if you're thinking, Karen, that is a hot mess. You're right, it is. And that's okay because Every page goes through this ugly stage. I wanted some contrast. I wanted purple. I've got purple, white. So I'm thinking hydrangeas with this page. And I grabbed this stamp set. It's a Stampendous one. And you can see the stamp itself is almost as big as my hand. It's a great large stamp. Perfect for art journaling. And I'll put a link to it below. Now, I wanted to knock back this background because, yes, you're right, it was a bit of a hot mess. And I'm just rubbing gesso over it, blocking off some just to calm the waters a little bit. I'm still going to see the stenciling. I'm still going to see the purple. But now I'm starting to add layers and build interest. I have just some of my um, economy gesso in that bottle. I've just repurposed the bottle. This is another new one, Quadrangle Fan. And I thought, you know, I'm going to put some purple dots. And I love the size of these on this stencil. 
There's lots of interest on this stencil, lots of little different motifs that you can use. But let's go simple. Circles. And I'm, you know, typically three. Now this is a the inside of a mailer that had bubble wrap. And it actually works quite well. I'm brayering it on and stamping, getting that little bit of black. Then I decide, you know, I need another color. As much as I want it purple, and I grab this bright aqua green, and it just, I'm using the same stencil I used before, the Fantangle stencil, and it's just adding this little bit of color, little bit of contrast with the purples, and it just, it just works together so well. And I decide I want some white where the purple is. So I've got the purple where there is more white, and now I'm putting white where the purple is. Again, with the dots. So I'm repeating the same stencil with different colors, and that's something that you'll see me doing lots. So I cut out the hydrangeas, and I'm gluing them down with matte medium, and I've left them white. I've got this thing lately, black, white, with some bright colors. Now I typed out the saying, stop saying I wish, start saying I will, and I'm framing this on a gel print that is purple. Just to make it stand out a little bit more against the background. Now I'm using the floating acrylic technique of shading around these hydrangeas just to make them stand off from the page and work better with the page. These are those finishing details that really make a difference. You can see the one I've shaded at the top and the ones down below that I haven't yet and you can hopefully you can see the difference. I do have a video where I'm teaching how to do this floating acrylic technique and I'll put a link to it in the i cards and that's in the top right hand corner. Now, if I wanted to do any shading on the hydrangeas, I would have to make sure that it's non-porous. Don't you do it on the raw paper because you won't get the effect you want. But instead of shading, I decided to grab my Secura Glaze pen. This is black, and I'm outlining the hydrangea. And you can see the one that I did and the ones that I didn't, how much bolder and better it looks when I've done this additional step. Now there is an awful lot of outlining going on here, but these secure glaze pens go on so smooth and so opaque. They are dimensional and they are shiny. I love them. So it's pretty easy to go and do this much outlining. Now you ought to avoid putting your hand in it when it's wet. So that's turn the page to help that out. So once they're all outlined, I grab my stylus and I'm dotting the middle of the hydrangeas. And this reads well with the circles that are in the background. And it just adds a little bit of dimension and shine. I, I could have grabbed my pearlized paint and done it with that. And that would have given it a little bit of shimmer as well. Thank you so much for watching. You want to Learn how to art journal. Stop saying I wish. Start saying I will. We'll see you for the next art journal tutorial. Give me a thumbs up. Please share 
my channel with your creative friends. Get the word out. Thanks for watching.